Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of my Summoner playthrough. In this episode, I'm going to be uh, trying to defeat the Empress of Light during the daytime. And once I get the Terra Prisma, it'd probably be smooth sailing till um, Moon Lord from there. But uh, yeah, so I went ahead and got 16 Prismatic Lace Wings off camera, as well as uh, changed back into my Hollowed Armor. The reason why I did this was because um, the Hollowed Armor has a set bonus where it... Uh, makes me um, immune to an attack after dealing a little bit of damage and so I can survive at least one uh, or two of the Empress of Light's attacks since it one shots you in the daytime no matter what anyways and so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and build a giant arena over the hollowed biome now and I'll be back once I complete it. Okay, hopefully that's enough. I just went ahead and uh, placed two, just two layers of platforms from here until the living wood tree. Okay, now that it's a fresh new day, I'm going to go ahead and spawn in a uh, prismatic lacewing and start the Empress of Light fight during the day. Um, okay, it's enraged. I want to at least get to its second form. Um, I don't think I'll be able to do it on my first try, but yeah, hopefully I can at least make it... <laughs> Uh, it's second form, then I'll probably die right away because it gets a lot harder. Oh, that's not good. I got hit already. Uh-oh. Uh, yep, a lot of my NPCs, I feel like, are gonna die during this. Uh, just have a gut feeling that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> Especially when it does 30,000 damage a hit. Doing a pretty good job avoiding that move, but... Yeah, okay. Now it's gonna do that. I'm pretty good with it, uh, never mind. I was just gonna say, pretty good with its attack patterns, but as soon as I say that, I get hit. So, yeah. No, goddammit. Okay, well, first attempt did not go so well. Um, I died, I think I got it down to a quarter. <laughs> That's not freaking enough. I'll just show the attempts that I did decent on, I guess, uh, just the very end of it, so you don't have to sit through every single fight, especially since there's so many of them. Oh, second form, I'm dead. I got stuck on the tree. Okay, but I finally got to its second form. So in between uh, waiting for uh, daytime again to fight the Empress of Light, um, a solar eclipse occurred, so I'll just show you guys anything interesting I get from this. And, ooh, it dropped a yo-yo. <laughs> I just left through the yo-yo. Uh, broken hero sword and another I just left through the yo-yo. Another broken hero sword and yo-yo. Oh my gosh. Ooh, Mothron wings. Yes. And it should be turning nighttime right about now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I got then. Another flask. Okay. Uh, yeah, went up here. Okay, yeah, I did die a couple of times, but I got the Mothron wings, which I'll equip now. I'm pretty sure it's a little better. I got three broken hero swords, a bunch of moonstone, Neptune shell. And a bunch of these Aya Cthulhu yo-yos, nail gun, uh, pants, uh, bloodstained aprons, and just a bunch of vanity items, banners, toxic flasks, and another deathsicle. And yeah, that concludes the solar eclipse. Okay, uh, she's so close. She is so close. Hopefully I don't die here. Okay, okay. Just a little bit more. Yes! Oh! Finally! That took so many freaking attempts. Oh, there were so many times where mobs just knocked me right into her attacks. Oh, finally! Oh, and I got another Kaleidoscope. The Terra Prisma. Oh, I'm gonna get rid of my Sanguine Bats. Yes! Now all that's left to do is to reforge it. Let's go. Okay, now that I'm at the Goblin Tinker, thankfully he didn't die. 
um, from all the freaking, you know, blades that the Empress of Light shot, but yes, let's go, Demonic, I wanna, yes, Ruthless, uh, let's go, get rid of the Sanguine Staff, and now, uh, next episode, Golem, and with that, I'm gonna end the episode here, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.